Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You know plenty. You know what I'm talking about cuz you just get me. Yeah, you so pretty. If everything is good and go. If you clicked on this video right after I posted it, thank you. If you're going to watch this video to the end, Thank you in advance. Thank you for liking, commenting, and for subscribing. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to the family. I still don't have a name for the Life of Marsh's subscribers, but um, we're going to get that soon. We're going to get one soon. Um. Yeah, today's video is a get ready with me while I answer some of your questions. I did put up a poll on Instagram for you guys to ask me questions. And when I tell you the girlies came through, the girlies came through. Some of the questions that I did receive, I am planning on doing a sit down video for. Because when I tell you, these batteries are intellectual. So yeah. Thank you for all your questions and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not yet part of the family. Let's dive right into this video. It's the life of Marsh. I am Marsh. Welcome home. So let's dive right into the questions. I made myself a nice cup of hot chocolate. I applied um, the Lash Life um lashes last night if you do see me look down it's because my mirror is here and even more down it's because the, i've jotted down some of the questions that i got on my instagram thank you so much um to everyone that responded um i appreciate it wholeheartedly thank you for supporting me on this journey truly 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 appreciate it um yeah guys so i will be doing my makeup <clears throat> as well as getting dressed um so i think i'm first going to do my hair i'm just going to straighten it out and style it and then i'm going to do my makeup i still don't know what i'm going to wear so let me get back <coughs> So that was actually very quick to decide what I'm going to wear. So I'm happy about that. You can slightly see it peeking out. But the aim is to show you afterwards. Now I'm quickly going to... If you know, you know. I'm going to just... Straighten... Straighten my hair. Um, I am in the process of going lighter. Um, but at the same time, there is this cinnamon brown color, like gingerish color, that I really, really, really do want to achieve. Um, I don't know what we are going to go for. We're going to go for a side part again. So tired of... Um, the middle part at the moment. It is still is quite small. But let's get into the questions. So question number, I just mixed them up. The first question is, what did you study? And at the same time, I have an, I received another question that asked, um, am I a financial analyst? So let's tackle those. So I studied, I first, I enrolled at UNAM for the Chartered Accountancy Program and got accepted. My second choice was economics then got into the program um 
failed terribly. Mind you, accounting was the worst, my, like my worst, my weakest subject at, on high school. Like it was always a C. And on higher level, I think I got like a four. So it really wasn't my thing to begin with, but I wanted the challenge. And 100%, you shouldn't be taking challenges when you go to varsity. You should know what you're good in. So the subjects that I was actually very, very good in and excelled in were all my science subjects, um, my languages and entrepreneurship, basically everything else. Um, so I failed my majors in my first year. <clears throat> I also lost my mom two months into... Um, starting my varsity journey so it was really really difficult so yes i then changed to economics which was initially my second choice um let me know if you guys want a story time on that and just you know i think i might just do a story time anyway just for you know someone that has never failed a grade or a mod a subject or so and then took it to varsity and then you are just like pam 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 you know like faced with so many challenges and yeah so if you can relate i'll definitely put up a story time of you know how i survived my first year um while going through immense grief and then also navigating through that and choosing my new career path so in a nutshell i did economics um graduated did a four-year honors program straight at unam um graduated completed my honors in 2020 and then yeah got my first job that I'm still at six months later I don't know what I'm doing but yeah I think we must just leave the evil for lost because I'm already late anyways yeah I think I'm just going to put it down here in here be right back I got this cute head um band from a very close friend of mine for christmas don't know what i was thinking okay we're going to continue with the hair once we're done with the face okay i hope this doesn't you know like ruin anything Okay. Perfecto. Look weird here at the back. But it's fine. So. Second question. Let me just quickly get my essentials for my brows. So the next question is. Who was it? It's actually my cousin that gave me this question. Shout out Kylie. Um, who was your amazing German teacher? So, fun fact, all my mother's sisters are married to German men. Um, one of them husband is late, but all of them marry German men, except for my mom. And, um, she is the youngest cousin on my mother's side. She recently turned 18. We have um, a 10 year age gap. Not me revealing my age. <laughs> but please comment down below. I do not look like I'm about to be 30 soon. Yeah. Um, so she posted, who was your amazing German teacher? And to be honest, it was my aunt, her mom, um, because as she learned, 
like as she communicated with my little cousin we basically needed to learn how to communicate with her as well because she was taught german first then english through television and then afrikaans it's just she just picked it up as we went along and spoke it at first my aunt was like you're not speaking afrikaans in front of my child i was 10 at the time i am going to speak afrikaans anyways um so yeah we basically picked up the language as she was as she grew up um so all as my aunt was teaching her we basically um picked up the language and then as she got older obviously you know she she now she in her in her like she herself why am i struggling she like assisted us with grammar and stuff like that but it's not that serious like german for me is like not that serious but i would be able to if i'm ever stranded in germany i would be able to talk myself out of it um so yeah for my german is a little bit rusty for the past three to four years i would say four years um due to circumstances we haven't really been in that much contact so yeah i don't have anyone to speak german to or you know you hear the lingo so yeah moving on to the next question what is the best and worst advice that i've ever received most probably not not received but but even just heard um you know through through talks and stuff you know people would always be like that's this and that so um the best would definitely be from my mother um my mother when i was i think we were upper primary or just started high school and my mom was my mom was very my mom i won't say she didn't care how you performed academically and this is what comes with this advice she always used to say that what you do right now is the fruits is going to the seeds you plant right now is going to be the fruits you pick in the future so if you don't feel like you want to go to school then drop out if you don't feel like you want to study then those are the marks you're going to to have like you are you are the number one person responsible for the future you're going to have you are the number one person in your life responsible for your future no one else you can't blame it on anyone else so the work you put like it's basically in a nutshell the efforts you put in is for your own life like you shouldn't do it for the validation of anyone else like she didn't want it was you know obviously you want to make your parents proud with your results but for her it was always like well done but at the end of the day this is this is for your future like i'm not gonna be there forever yeah i heard that a lot growing up that my mom was not gonna be there forever and i feel like she manifested that but okay I'm not gonna get emotional we're not crying today we are not crying today i didn't even tell you guys where i'm going but i guess it's fine anyways so let me just quickly get my sponges it is 100 percent my best advice ever that whatever i do it's my life you know i'm responsible for my own life and the like she is giving me a house you know she's giving me shelter she's giving me food she's giving me water but she's not going to 
like guide me down about the choices I make because somewhere somehow you know I was given responsibility from a very young age and also I think it's also very good because my mom didn't um love her dreams through like with us using her kids it's like oh I wanted to be this this and that she just let us be our own people and obviously supported us on the journey and for that I'm truly grateful um uh so that was that's definitely the best advice that I take with me everywhere and I try and I also tell that to my kids and hoping they'll tell it to their kids if you see this grandbabies grandma's grandbabies remember that it's advice from your great grandmother um another thing I'm actually not, I'm not sure because I'm wearing red and white what I should do for my eyeshadow anyways let's move on um next question so i'm just going in with the exotic palette guys this is not a makeup makeup tutorial let me know if you want a makeup tutorial um i forgot to prime my face let's almost do it right now because i do use um sunscreen but yeah I started noticing that I'm getting like hyperpigmentation or yeah it's like darkening here so I don't know if it's the pull coming too strong for my body or what it is but okay anyways the worst advice that i received was um that i should marry for stability love comes afterwards the same person who gave me that advice. Yeah, it's not looking good for the, for the marriage, but I'm not gonna go into it. That has to be the worst advice I ever received. Um, because I've seen people being, I have examples of people that I actually love and the money came afterwards. Um, and not just marrying to secure your future. But anyways, we're not going to get into that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for a subtle. This is another palette. Yo, this palette is old. But I think I'm going to go for like just my usual um, brown eye look. Um... I'm just gonna go in with this so yeah next question like this question was so um like broken down thank you so much for that um this was what's your like favorite memory and she went into detail in terms of can be like a childhood memory um yeah so my favorite memory like on off the top of my head would definitely have to be the trip um after my mom bought a car and in my lifetime that was the first car that she owned and i was 16 I think I was grade 11 that year, it was 2013. Um, it was the first car that she owned while I knew her. <laughs> that sounds 
so weird. Um, but yeah, so we took a trip down to South Africa, like a road trip, and she toured the garden route with us, which was, I, I'm, I'm, if I could recall correctly, that is the route, which is um, like Mossel Bay, Oatswarang, like that side. It was beautiful. She always, like growing up, my mom always said, like she really wants to take us to the Congo Caves. And she took us to the Congo Caves. And it's a really, really, like it was a really beautiful experience. Um, we're going very subtle today. Not too much it's Sunday anyways. That, that's like my favorite memory. We also went to like a, a zoo at the same time. <laughs> I miss it so much. It's my whole heart. The life I would have given my mother. Mm. She was my purpose. She was everything in my life. But yeah, we'll do, we'll do a series on navigating through grief as a teenager, as a young adult. Um, yeah, next question. <laughs> next question. Um, where can I be so? The skill you still like to learn. Oh, there's so many skills I still like, would like to learn. But on the top of my, because I have lashes, it's going to make it so uncomfortable to do a crease. So I think I'm just going to do a subtle cut it with my eyeshadow. It's not going to last long, but still pretty much got the job done. Um, a skill I'd like to learn is really um, something that my mom did, and that was um, sewing. My, like all my, my aunts, because my grandmother um, was a, like a, seamstress designer she had her own boutique in independence avenue called um Malice boutique yeah was that my grandmother or my aunt but anyways um so all of them could make clothes so i would like to one day learn that and make my own clothes yan dag is yan dag Anyways, um, yeah, that's on top of on the top of my head that I can um, recall the skill. I'd also like to very much cook better. I really want to cook better. Like I want to make bomb meals, and I also want to teach myself how to bake. Ugh, so many things. Next question. If you were a flower, which one would you be? I, I think I definitely, definitely relate to a lotus flower a lot. Um, because they just, it's just this beautiful flower that grows on swamps. Like, veel water, maak die mooiste plomme. And, like, turned, yeah. I relate a lot to a lotus flower just because of like I didn't don't come from like the wealthiest family but I turned out to be the most amazing person and my life is great it's not it's not amazing I didn't have a head start with funding and stuff like that but it's still great um, so definitely a lotus flower. I actually want to get a tattoo. Um, yeah, I want to get a tattoos of many things, but your girl is so skilled. 
and the commitment of having that on my body and then i become old and then it's gonna be wrinkly and ooh, ooh. so they did to botox like any butts in it anyways so my eyes are done i believe let's get it one second Okay, next question. Um, perfect. Perfect. I don't know if I'm going to make a wing. Just make a subtle one. Um, how did you say you guys save and plan? For SA, she, this person really wants to go. Um, I did respond to her privately for the link of the video that I did after uploading all our vlogs from our trip. So I do give a detailed cost breakdown of everything. Um, of like the just one moment guys I'm off the desk of um these wings are not twins but um, I'm just we're just going to I'm not gonna stress about it I'm definitely not stressing about it so yeah in terms of um i am using my new true skin foundation and this is in the shade warm olive i don't know if it's going to even because i'm filming on my phone it's a hydrating foundation hyaluronic acid and it's long lasting 24 hours hydration period now to see if the pump work oh okay um i would want to use this um foundation brush my say how to kiss all eight so we're just going to use a sponge my sponge um so yeah i did um put it out in the video the youtube video that i made of the cost breakdown i did send you a link um which basically shows we had a 9 to 11 month savings plan um just to save for the trip and still love our lives normally we also um did a lot of events we are in we do events so if you see us in an event just know we're hustling um yeah so we did a lot of events and we are basically, I started at the, the event company that I work for in 2018 and I've worked my way up. So I'm like part of like the management team at the events, like making sure everything goes well on the day. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, so it all depends on your budget and then through that you can then come up with a saving plan you are more than welcome to dm me if you have any questions um after watching the video if there's anything else that i didn't mention or that you you want more detail on my dms are open to all um next question 
What is a travel destination that's on my bucket list? Oh, I really, really, really. The aim of the life I want for myself is to see the world. Like, I really just, I want to work hard and travel the world. Like, I don't want to drive the most expensive car or live in the biggest house. I really just want to live my life working um and seeing the world like that is the luxury the dream that i want is to be of to be able to afford to see the world literally that is also why i still don't own a car um and all of that because it's i just see it as such an expense and i can use that money and travel to a place and you know buy a flight ticket or i don't know yeah but i the reason i also don't have a car is because i don't have a driver's license don't judge me my i i had other priorities in my life a car was not one of them having a driver's license was not one of them getting my degree was one of them getting a job was one of them Anyways, I'm almost done and I still have foundation, so maybe I can just put on a little bit more. Um, I only wrote down 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I only wrote down 10 questions because there are some questions that were asked that I want to do a sit down video on. Like literally amazing topics that I can speak on for sit down videos so if i didn't answer your question in this video just know that it was so good i have such intellectual friends on instagram that is where they asked me the questions um and i got like amazing questions that i just can't just give a two minute answer to. Mm -mm. we need to chat about it so we're still going to chat about your questions um next question is what is your ideal i think this is the last question as well i'll just stab in because i only wrote down 10 didn't know the mom's going to take this long what was what does your ideal future look like and do i plan on having kids Oh, now this one. This is why I left it for 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 last because um, I've been in a relationship for eight years now, and obviously, no idea. Buy a little closet, okay? Obviously, you know, the plan is to get married one day. The plan is to have kids and all of that. Um, but that bug just haven't bit me yet. Um, yeah. Mary, marriage is definitely something that I want, but something that is holding me off is the fact that my wedding is not going to be how I envisioned it. And I don't have both my parents. Um, I am currently not having um, for the past three to four years. I have set very strict boundaries with family members. Um, I haven't had the best, I'm not having the best relationships with the people I'd really love to be at my wedding um, and to be a part of my, my life as a mom, as a wife. Um, so all of that is kind of just halting staying 
like <laughs> I hate it's just not like a um but another thing I must make a video on <laughs> Ugh, I love a stocker movie tell me what you say now tell me what you say you said that you would come again you said that we would remain friends but you know that I do not depend on us try this this also try this Liquid blush from Essence. <laughs> really cute. Um, so yeah. I really do. The plan is to be a wife. And a mother one day. After losing my mom. I felt like my biggest purpose. Or the time that my heart. Will, be, will beat again. Would be if I have my own children. Like. And I would feel like life is worth loving again. But I have changed my mindset because I don't want to tie it to something that can be taken away again. So, I'm just tying it to what God has in store for my life. And not basing it on things that can be taken away. So, yeah, just a grieving girl, just a grieving girl. Cause I don't know how to put on this blush. So we are still going to watch tutorials and see how we can best. So we have pink cheeks. Okay, I'm basically done. Now just for highlight. Like a kiss with your poppy. Like a kiss with your poppy. Anyways. If I don't show you guys my foot now, definitely show it at the venue. Oh, but you guys are not coming with me. This is just supposed to be a get ready with me video. Hey, sorry. Sorry. So I should show you guys before I leave the house. Okay. Can't really see the flash. Put highlight all over it. Yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're still tuned in at this point, thank you so much for watching till the end. It really means a lot to me. I'm gonna put on Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit You ain't special Till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you I just can't keep running away But I don't need you I don't need you I don't need you I don't need you Everybody's like he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife 